Okay, I will open the meeting for the Investment Advisory Committee. The first order of business is to approve the minutes. I need a motion. So I'll move. And a second? Second. All in favor, can I say aye? Aye. 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 Can't be in it. Oh, no? No, it's this year, it's Ralph. But you can say. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a public hearing. Public okay. hearing, but you just can't move. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just this okay. technical here. Sorry. That's okay. Brian okay. Ames, watch us. Oh, if, gosh. You, if you look at the agenda, it shows our cash cash position mm -hmm. uh, with our various, these are cash accounts. And everybody always asks, why is Huntington so low? Huntington is our provider of investment services, so we keep a little bit of account there, a whopping $50,000. And uh, we occasionally ask them to provide additional services, which they're happy to do. We have a very good relationship with Huntington. Caroline especially has uh, two people there that she works closely with. If you look at uh, the investment report, about halfway down, on the left-hand side, it says U.S. Treasury Wells Fargo, U.S. Treasuries and Fed Home Loan. Fed Home Loan Bank. Those are three investments that are maturing this year. And as you can tell, the yield is a whopping 0.48. So that's 48 basis points annually. That's a horrible investment. But that investment was made about four years ago. So we will be receiving that $5 million at the end of this month, and it will be replaced with a, an investment that's going to be making between three and five and a half percent. So we are factorially increasing the yield. That's huge. Uh, as you can tell, going all the way down, this shows the uh, investment maturities. We're already in 2028, which is uh, as far as we're allowed to go out, no more than five years. And uh, this investment opportunity before us you know it's nice to be flush it's dangerous to be greedy so if I were a gambling man I would put more investments in the out years but we're dealing with taxpayers monies so it's got to be very conservative that's why we use that latter strategy that I often uh, return to we are uh, if you look at some of the cash at the beginning of the reporting period, we have already made some uh, distributions. So we have plenty of cash, and we are in as solid a financial position as I've seen in the relative uh, last few years. We've been in very strong financial positions before. This is one of those. Uh, as I said in the in my budget hearing, we will provide a year-end certification. Caroline will provide that, and it will be more accurate than the three million dollar wild ass guess that we used previously. Uh, Caroline, I'm not know, putting that in the minutes. <laughs> Besides, it's scientific wild ass It's a it's a it's wag. A swag. Oh a gosh. <laughs> Swag would be simply one. Okay. <laughs> we'll just move on. <laughs> Do you have a preliminary estimate on what you think? No, I don't because um, we're going to reinvest those and I will talk to Mr. Joe Bieland probably in November and get more of a um, more of a final figure. Okay. Caroline, do you have anything for it? Uh, no, I'm just writing. <laughs> okay, no, that's about it. Motion to adjourn, Jim. I so move. As do I in a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, 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 aye.